Uh, as you can see, up 11.3% at, at 0059. A lot of stuff has been going on with Wonderland and Spell since they're kind of, I guess, working together or something like that. Uh, I try not to look into stuff too much, but uh, a lot of people have been talking about it and the whole fiasco, uh, which I think caused the downturn of Wonderland in this, I mean, last three months, 180 days, half a year since November, been in the downturn. Uh, but up 11.3%, still too high of a market cap for me to flip, but I mean, uh, if you want to make some gains, it's, it's, I think it's the lowest price coin on Coinbase right now. Uh, with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on crypto let's get in the spell this thing has been dumping for a while now you have all this resistance up here and you're kind of in no man's land i think this is due to the wonderland fiasco and the ties with the spell token uh, but you guys have uh several green candles moving up so that's bullish let's see if we can decipher this bottom to the top see what's going on see what's going on over the top there so it looks like you're currently at the 786 right now uh, so if we zoom in a little bit closer I think something like this is at play so you have the 786 and 618 and a support right here uh, this support isn't actually super valid because this is the lowest you've been there's no price history there so we'll just we'll just call it support right now uh, so you got the 786 if you overtake the 786 your next stop is the 618 here at six at six nine um, from there, I think you guys really need to get above that because you've been in a downtrend. So you guys were consolidating just for a short period of time, and then you were in a steep downtrend right here. So if we do the downtrend line, you guys need to break out of that. I mean, it's it's short-term downtrend, so it's not super valid, but it's a downtrend nonetheless. So the main thing to focus on is overtaking the 618 here at 69. Uh, if you break above this downtrend, you then can consider yourself short-term bullish, and I believe you'll make your way back up here to one cent. Uh, I think there's be a lot of resistance at one cent because it's a nice round number, and that's a very psychological thing for people. Say something drops from twenty dollars to nineteen ninety nine, people start panicking for some reason because it's not at the twenty dollar range anymore. Same with buying up; people think that stay, the price might be cheaper or expensive or something like that. So just keep that in mind. But something like this could definitely be at play too. You come up here. And hopefully you don't make a lower low. Hopefully you consolidate like this until you make your upswing. But, I mean, this thing's been moving down, so there's really no indication of it moving up right now. So the worst case scenario is dropping below the 1, and then I think there's a 618 below this. So we'll we'll discuss that. We'll, go, we'll assess that when the time comes. As of right now, I don't want to be super bearish on this, but it's not making any bullish moves right now. I mean, these three candles are great, but see, so you guys had three candles here. And you guys are moving your way back up, and you hit this downtrend, and then it shot back down. So something like that is definitely still at play. There's no reason for it to be bullish right now, except that it's the cheapest coin on Coinbase. Um, but I think something like this could be at play too. You know, if you read above the 618 and the and this downtrend, your next step would definitely be the one. You guys could consolidate sideways until you break out of this downtrend and then shoot up to the one. But from what it looks like, it's it's pretty bearish right now. Uh, we could be dropping back down here to the one. And work our way like that and just continue following this downtrend you know we could be doing i know that's three different scenarios and people are like oh you just covered all three different scenarios to cover your ass i'm just giving you guys short-term options short-term possibilities on this coin uh, pick just keep a close eye on it and take it for what it is uh if you break above the 618 that's that would be the best sign for you guys so try focusing on getting over we'll just say seven seven hundred if you get above seven hundred then uh then this will be a critical spot right here. So just focus on that. As of right now, it's not looking bullish, but I mean, it's, it's a lot of coins are moving down right now. As always, this is not financial advice, and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, please comment them on my Discord channel, which you'll find the link below in the description.